Hello everyone, I'm back. Today we're making butternut bready. And the butternut is being cut up, as you can see. Okay, and I'm not putting any oil on because my meat is a bit fatty. So no oil is going into the pot. My meat's going in. My onions. And that's two onions. And a couple of cloves of garlic chopped up. I also have four chilies. I've got dried ones. That's the onion. Okay. And cinnamon stick, which goes great. Cinnamon, just a few pieces, not too much. Goes great with butternut. And I need some allspice. Okay, I'm going to throw in one allspice. You can throw in two if you like. And the only other seasoning will be salt and pepper. Okay, so now we're just going to brown this nicely. Okay. This will go so for about 15 to 20 minutes, stirring occasionally, and I'll be right back. Okay guys, the meat is browning, um, there's the butternut cut up, there's the salt, a teaspoon of salt, two teaspoons of sugar, but to your taste, and two teaspoons of fine black pepper. Guys, I get easily distracted. <laughs> then I'm going to cook everything, remember this is AMC cookery, on a medium heat, okay? After this has browned thoroughly, I'm going to add the rest of the seasoning, brown it some more, add some water, and then it's going to simmer until almost tender. And then I'm going to add the butternut. Some people like their butternut to be puffed, like soft, mushy, and some like pieces. We're going to see how far we're going to go. <laughs> okay, guys, so now I'm going to add the salt, a teaspoon of salt. I'll taste later if I need to add or not. Two teaspoons of fine black pepper. You can use white pepper as well or a mixture of both. And I'm going to add the sugar now just to help brown the meat even more. That's two teaspoons. Later on we check if we need any of these ingredients again. We'll taste the chiru. It already smells amazing. Lekker. Hey, oh, I better stop before I sneeze. Oh, oh, nope, I'm not gonna. Okay, get that brown liquor, some more. Okay. Okay, guys, I've now added, um, some warm water, about uh, three cups. Now I'm going to let this cook on a medium heat until almost tender, about 35 minutes to 40, depending on the, the cut of meat you're using. And then I'm going to add the butternut and we'll be right back. Okay, guys, let me just switch off the fan here. Let's check what's happening here. Oh, liquor. My spoony. Okay, so I'm not gonna kill you. Focus it. <laughs> okay, I've um, thrown in some water about a few minutes ago. Check if there's the meat. I'm going to just check with a spoon. Nope. I want it to be. Maybe I should do it now. I'm going to let it cook for another 10 minutes. I'm going to let it 
10 to 15 minutes because I like the place. Yep. Another tip that I forgot to add is um, when you add the sugar to the meat, um, don't walk away, right? You must stir it and um, then you add your water afterwards, otherwise oh, it's going to burn. And if you choose to put your sugar with your butternut, then you just stir it with that, okay? So that's just the, the tip, don't walk away <laughs> from the meat. Um, just stir it and you will see it brown nicely and... Um, yeah, so I'm going to, like I said, I can't think so when I was hungry. And now I'm going to wait. It's still another stage. It costs still five of them. And I don't want to eat anything else to spoil my appetite. <laughs> Have you guys ever felt that way? Yep, that's me. Okay, guys, I'll be back. Okay, guys, then we're ready to go. <laughs> um, this is... Um, uh, two butternuts that was peeled and cut up. I believe I had a kilo. I'm not sure. I didn't wait. Um, okay. You can cut it um, smaller if you like. Maybe my timer will work. So now you just cook this until the butternut is nice and soft. And you give it your final taste and see if anything is missing. Of course, I need some water to help with the cooking. No, okay, not too much. I want to braise. Okay, and when I come back, we're gonna dish up. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, yummy. Louis, what's so dry? Look at you. See there? That part's very important. And then I just use my spoon and see if everything's soft. It is. If you want it very saucy, a bit more saucy, just throw in a little bit of water. If you like it like this you can leave it like that and make a sly with it if you like I'm gonna throw a little water in this is basically clear now I'm just gonna dish the rice but I can hold on it's the corona and it tastes first mmm this my course. I'm glad I was patient. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. See that? Mm. Absolutely wonderful. Whoa, spicy with the pepper and the chilies. Just right. I don't know, skip. Okay guys, there it is done. Steam is still coming out. There's some nice white rice. Look at that. Yummy in my tummy. Mm. Yeah. Is it Louis? Just chase him away. Louis will look some eat. Okay. Dish some ricey, ricey. I must taste it, taste it. Okay. And now, dish from this. Oh, 
this is this is up for one. Oh, for a deal, this is so good. Yummy. Okay, I'm gonna taste now. Yummy. There we go. Butternut bread, guys. Soft meat. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Eat now. Just right, not too sweet, nice and spicy. Perfect, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm gonna eat now. The family's gonna eat. It's nice and cold outside, and this is the perfect dish for this cold, rainy days. So, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll be back again with another video soon. Bye, everyone. Love you guys. Bye.